Oh my god. Good morning, babes. It is Friday, so welcome to another vlog. I feel pretty fine. I did not sleep for a very long time. I think I slept for about four hours, three hours. Paula stayed over and Felix, his cousin, stayed over as well. So we just went to bed way too late. Paula and I decided that it was a good idea to go vintage shopping at 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't know in what world we were living when we made that appointment, but here we are. There she is! Oh, yay! <laughs> now, Blanca! Blanca! Because of Corona, we only have one hour to shop. Oh, of course, you have any English? Yeah, you don't need to English to Oh, shop, God but, uh, damn. Ik wel. Oké, ik ben hem. So we only got one hour and we're already 10 minutes late. <laughs> Not with me in the car. Okay. Me yes. goodbye. Paula is a speed devil. I so. Am. I'm very proud of one. Yeah. Ik vind het nog steeds een beetje gek. Je hebt echt netje rijwijs en je bent een gekke speed devil. Oké. Okay. Let's go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> En je lekkere halsje. Je lekkere gezichtje. Oh. 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 Top, ga ik daar naartoe rijden. Dank u wel. Ja hoor. Bye bye. studio i did not find any good items at the vintage shop i don't know why i expected more from this shop i don't know why i just did i got two items for 11 euros so gotta love vintage shopping i just did some laundry so i will show you those items once they're dry i just took a moment to eat in silence and do some journaling Showing gratitude, asking guidance, because I didn't have any time in the morning to do that. I usually do that in the morning. So I feel refreshed and ready for the day. And I will be busy editing today. And it's kind of a special day because my first English video will go live. So that is pretty exciting. And today I will be editing the vlog for Monday, which is the first English vlog. So I'm really excited. I sometimes have those days where I'm extra excited to edit. Obviously, there are also days where I'm like, oh my god, I don't even want to go sit behind my computer. But I'm really excited today, so let's make a fun vlog for y'all.
think I have told this, but Sunday is my free day. So I try to not film on Sunday, but sometimes I have some really cool and fun appointments on Sunday yesterday. And then I try to film a couple of shots so I can still show you what happened on Sunday. So yesterday, as you guys could have seen, I got some new tattoos. <coughs> this is the first one and I really have to get used to it. I still look in the mirror and be like, whoa, what is that dot over there? But it's my new tattoo. It's a Reiki symbol of healing. And I was really drawn to it. I saw it a couple of times on my Pinterest. So when I read the meaning behind it, I was like, I have to get this. And I'm really happy with it, but I just have to get used to it. The other one is on my back. I'm not sure if I can show you without getting naked. That's the second one. 616. Because that's my birth time. So today it is Monday. I have a couple of things I want to do today. I want to make some content for TikTok. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What else do I got on my to-do list? Let's have a look. Podcast filmer, we just filmed a podcast which will be live on Friday. Unfortunately, it will be in Dutch. The podcast stays in Dutch. So I'm gonna edit that. I'm also going to upload my first English vlog. And I wanna show you guys some things from Naked. And I wanna tell you something about that, but I'm not gonna do it here because I think you'll hear a lot of noise. So I've had some collaborations with Naked before. But there was this one incident where some of the people that had worked there complained about the way Naked treated them. That's when I decided to stop working with Naked. But I don't like the cancel culture. I really don't. And if I see that a brand is making effort to make up for the mistakes they made, then I'm all here for that. So I've done my research. They are doing some major things to solve the problems they had. So I've got some new things from Naked, which I'll be showing you later today. But first I gotta eat. I'm really, really starving. I am on my way to Rotterdam. I'm getting my nails done. And then around six o'clock, I have an appointment for my feet because both my hands and my feet have to be on point for tomorrow's appointment. And I'm just not gonna tell y'all, but you will see that tomorrow. You guys, do we see this? This is the first time I got two designs. So one for each hand and I am obsessed. Which means I can make black and white content, but also blue content. It's perfect. And I'm so happy to have my claws back. I didn't realize I missed them until I got them back. So no more short nails for me. I got them short because I wanted to start claying. Eventually I never did because my head was so full with other things. I had a lot to deal with. So <sighs> I never did it, which sucks because now I bought the clay and I cut my nails for nothing, but it's fine. I'll find a way to start claying with long nails. I'll make it work. Now it's time to go to Paula and grab some food. I think I want some ramen. Yeah, I'm in the mood for some ramen. So let's go. You will see me doing this all the time now. Casually showing my nails. <laughs>
Hi, good morning, guys. So yesterday, after Coco and I ate, by the way, Coco is the nickname of Paula. Just so you know, Coco and Paula are the same person. But after we ate, I got my feet done. They look super fresh. Then I drove back home, packed my suitcase, had a really good night's sleep. And now I am in the car on my way to a magazine shoot. It is for the magazine Linda Meiden, which is a really big magazine in the Netherlands. So. I am super proud, I am super happy. The shoot will last two days, so there will be a sleepover. And we will be shooting on the beach. I know some of the girls that I will be shooting with today, so I'm sure it will be a super fun weekend. Oh, I'm calling it a weekend, but it's not even weekend. But you get the deal, it's a two day shoot, so. It's a one hour drive and I made sure I'm super early. <laughs> so I'm gonna take one more minute to ground myself cleanse myself and then it's time to go. lovely time at the shoot i must say there were some things that were really really draining there was a lot of miscommunication between me and another model everything is sorted out now i decided to step out of my comfort zone and confront her with my feelings which worked because we talked everything out but it was a very draining weekend for me and I keep saying weekend because it really felt like a weekend, but it were just two random days in the week, which is even worse because now I still have some days in the week where I need to do my shit and work, but I feel drained. Anyhow, I'm very grateful that Linda Maida has invited me for this shoot and the theme was absolutely wonderful. They really took care of us. They really hyped us up during shooting. They were super, super nice, super sweet. They made sure we had enough drinks. They made sure we felt comfortable. So I am so happy for this opportunity and I can't wait to show you the results. I couldn't film everything because my camera broke down. So the camera won't focus on everything anymore because of the sand in the lens and I hope I can fix it otherwise I'll just have to buy a new one uh, I must say a great campaign came in the mail today so I really felt super drained this morning but I feel absolutely better now but because my camera broke down and because I felt really drained and because we were super busy shooting I did not film as much as I wanted to so I promise next vlog will be longer there is one more thing I want to show to you and that is a package from Naked I have a mini haul for you guys actually it's not a mini haul I got quite some items 
so let me show you so let me just start by the accessories i have two caps they're both the same just different colors i couldn't pick one this is the first one it's this really cute beige color it's not beige it's more like a camel tone and i think the fit of the cap is gorgeous sometimes a cap can be a little bit flatter on this side and i don't like that so this is perfect so i also got it in this color super cute i think you could call this color forest green then we have this super cute bag usually i'm not a fan of bags that are not how do i say this without sounding cocky i just really like designer bags I said it but i must say i really like this one as well it looks a bit like a croissant and i love the color it's not something i would usually pick but i felt like stepping out of my comfort zone so the bag so while picking my favorites i really kept summer in mind and the next item is this short it is a ripped short really stretchy cute color i would wear it with this top you can tie it up here so so cute but let me try it on for you voila it's not too long at the arms it's not too revealing then we have the shorts which are a little bit see-through as you can see so i think i will be wearing these to the pool or to the beach once it's summer or maybe it will work with nude underwear which i don't have so i can't show you but a very cute fit next up i have this linen set so we have the linen trousers and this is what the material looks like i love the color and it comes with this blouse so same color same material so let me try it on for you Okay, so this set fits perfectly as well. I rolled up the sleeves, I tucked the blouse in the trousers, and I just love the overall look. It looks really casual, yet put together. This is a size XS. It's not uncomfortably tight, but it's still tight around my waist. Perfect! It's a little bit too long at the end, but I'm very tiny, so I didn't expect anything else. So I also got this one in white. So again, it's the same material. It looks super fresh and I think it will look super cute with these trousers. So this is not beige, it's not stone. I think it's light green as in sage and then a little bit more beige than green. Whoa. But I already have these trousers in black and they are so comfortable. They look super classy. They are the perfect suit pants. Let's try these on. I can still move my legs up and down. I can sit, I can stand and they just stay in place. So. Up next, I have this really cute crop top with tiny straps and I have these really comfy shorts. They are really thick so they're not see-through like the other ones. Let me show you! Then I also have this super cute skirt. I love, love this detail. And I would not wear it with this top, but for now I will show it to you with this top. I think this will look so cute in summer with my tanned body. And like I said, with another top, you can decide yourself whether you want this really tight or just a little bit looser it's all up to you i think the reason i don't wear that many skirts is because i think they are very uncomfortable whenever i'm sitting down they feel so tight around my bum and around my legs because i have pretty thick ties but this one feels really soft the material is very soft so again perfect fit 
And then last but not least, I have this very cute dress. I was looking for a little black dress and then I saw this one. So it looks really basic in front, but it has a really cute bag with straps. So last item. So this is the dress. As I already said, it looks pretty basic in front, but it has this really cute slit. Don't mind my socks. And look at that back! Oh my god! I'm such a sucker for strappy bags. Really, really cute. So if you saw something cute and you're planning on buying something, definitely use my code. It's VIDIA20. VIDIA20. It will give you guys a discount of 20% and this code is valid for 7 days starting today. So today is the 26th and the code will be valid till the 3rd of May. But if you're looking for these items, check the description box and you will find all the links. So, thank you so much for watching. I promise next vlog will be longer. For now, I'm going to chill, enjoy my day. I still feel a little bit drained, so... Let's just take care of me.